So we have these two here. On table one, I would like to introduce Huntsman from Malaysia. They have the top score from yesterday. On the other side, from Greece, it is NGK, the Next Gen Kids. All right, over here. Again, like Charles said, these teams are going head to head, but you know, this one's only for bragging rights. This is only for fun. And I am so happy we have these teams here on the table on the right side. It is Peking University. And over here, you guys were pretty loud yesterday. I expect you to be even louder today. It's Technologic. There is so much energy. I, you can cut the tension between these teams with a knife. I am so excited to see this head-to-head -head battle for the ages. It's the bragging rights match of the century. I'm so excited. When are we going to start this round? We got a green light, Charles. Are you ready to go? All right. We need everybody in the crowd to help us count down because we're ready to go in three, three two, two, one. Let go! Beautiful, beautiful work coming out on both teams over here. It looks like Peking University is going to grab that cone module off of the ISS and put the two module on it. Meanwhile, taking the core module off of the side as well. Looks like they're going to put that on the far side in just a little bit. Technologic successfully putting the two module on the ISS and collecting a ton of regolith from the core sample challenge. What's happening, Charles? Uh, we've got core cone, Gerhardt. And the recovery cone back into base by NGK. Huntsman just did the transportation mission and the solar panels. They've got Gearheart. They're going to go put him in the airlock. That is super cool. It looks like we got major points coming down on these tables. Peking University just collected the uh, lander from the red planet. And they have completed the... Uh, payload challenge with uh, one, two carts on Technologic side, and it looks like they just completed the exercise challenge. Weightlifting, they're going to go for cardio next. What is happening, Charles? NGK has just gotten the Lunar Lander down into their robot. They need to bring that back to base in order to score. <laughs> Huntsman, oh. they had dropped the recovery cone, but on their way back from bringing the <clears throat> Lunar module, they managed to bring the cone. They didn't intend, but it came back on its own. We're one minute to go. One minute to go, and it looks like Peking University is chanting along with their robot as it completes the cardio exercise challenge. Looks like they just completed food production, putting a water on that bad boy as well. They're switching out attachments. They have also completed the crater crossing challenge, and it looks like Technologic is going to try and complete the observatory, which they do. No problem at all. They attempted escape velocity, not quite get enough power on that. It looks like they're going to try and put the core module in the opposite side of the ISS. That's big, big points. 24 seconds remaining. What's going on, Charles? All right, Huntsman is going the agriculture mission. <clears throat> and they've got the water module. NGK has done the weightlifting, and they're done. Huntsman needs to park over the satellites. All right, over here. It looks like Peking University managed to put that lander in the circle on the red planet. That's going to be even more points. Two seconds remaining. That is time. Oh, my goodness. Give it up for these teams, everybody. That was amazing wow. as well. We are going to come back after this presentation for the next round. Teams need to wait. They'll see the scores up on the screen to see who advances to the next round. In match two between Peking University and Technologic, Peking University with a score of 348, 254 for Technologic. Peking University Elementary School is going on to the semifinals.